Hey, hi, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites. Folks, I am back with more cozy action roguelite restaurant management. This is Cuisineer, and it's been a blast to play. This is the second piece of content that I'm doing on the game, and if you were with us last time, we visited this overworld a little bit that is randomly generated every time in order to gather some ingredients for making all kinds of delicious dishes in the restaurant that we're running for our parents because those damn parents decided to retire and they left us with the responsibility of running the restaurant, which normally would be totally fine, right? You'd rise to the occasion anytime. But in this case, they sold a bunch of important items to the restaurant, like chairs and tables and, you know, the normal things that you would need. I get it. They needed to pay for the vacation of a lifetime somehow, but they kind of left us with all the problems that uh, resulted from that. So here we are. We're trying to build the restaurant back up, and while we're doing that, we're taking on quests for the villagers so that we can learn new family recipes from them. And so I have a few active quests right now. One of them wants me to gather vegetables. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, if it was up to us, we'd just be out here grabbing delicious, fatty meats, but it's not always up to me, folks. And so we're gonna get a smattering of ingredients. And the other thing I wanna try to do today is to upgrade our restaurant with the carpenter as well. We did that last time and uh, per usual, I didn't pay close attention. I thought we were going to get additional space in our restaurant and we kind of did. We're now able to make several dishes and leave them on the counter if we need to. This next upgrade that we'll do will allow us to cook several different dishes at a time. And I think that's going to be pretty helpful. Because the last couple lunch and breakfast rushes I've played on the side has been a little bit of a hang-up. A little bit of a slowdown because of capacity. So, you know what? We're just going to have a nice, chill run today. And, of course, we're going to drink some coffee because, of course, we're going to drink coffee. Let's see if we can nail those guys. A little rice puffs. Uh, okay. Whoa. Got to watch out for those floor traps. The struggle is real. Now, if this is your first time seeing the game, I have a couple of special capabilities that are on a cooldown. I just got our big, huge spatula slam back. We're gonna do that. Wonderful. I can also throw a bunch of plates at a time, or just a couple at a time by uh, right-clicking the mouse. All right. I hope you are having a nice day out there. Still enjoying the nice break, and we are in preparation for Thanksgiving Part 2 today. You visiting my wife's side? and frying up some turkeys and 
ovening up some turkeys. It's a it's a big old gathering. I'm wondering if they're going to do one of their usual approaches where they completely wrap a turkey in bacon and then they pop that in the oven or the roaster. It's delicious. It really is. I've gotten more and more into turkey this year, just looking for leaner meats. A lot of turkey and chicken. I've kind of discovered boar's head. I'd always heard about boar's head, but I never really tried it, to be honest. And I've found uh, some spiced and sliced turkey that, that I like. It's great on a sandwich with some hummus. Alright, I think rather than die and lose half of our stuff if we don't make it, I think we're getting close here. Where I'm ready to go back and run the kitchen. We've got some vegetables. I'd like to take this dude out, to be honest. Oh, goodness. All right. That was not intended. And we lost our vegetables. That's not great. But we're going to go back, run the restaurant. Did we keep any of the stone? We needed that. Let's see. Okay. So that's a good thing, because that's going to be really important for getting the carpenter to do the upgrade. So let's submit the request, and then we're going to come back and run the restaurant, because we're going to be handing him a lot of do-re-mi here. Alright, so we're going to upgrade. So you see what happened last time. We've got... A total of three spots across this counter now where we can place cooked food and people can come up and grab it or I can deliver it to them. Uh, we can also cook two dishes. This will increase our capacity for cooking as well, which is going to be helpful. So we're going to go with the upgrade again here. And usually that takes 48 in-game hours for that to complete. And I would imagine it's going to be a similar cycle for this one. Now the smithy has been gone, so I'm just going to visit real quick here, take a look at what's on offer. I wouldn't mind having a new weapon. Crit rate up increases crit rate by 3%. Okay, so these must be like side items here. Sour effect up. Your shocked effect jumps one more time. This does not stack. Okay. I think this is very interesting. Can't buy it yet. So let's go back and run the restaurant. We're going to take a look here real quick. The town calendar will keep you updated on the upcoming events of each season. Birthdays, giving gifts to others on your birthday is part of the long-standing tradition in Levain. Don't be surprised if you find a present in your mailbox on someone's special day. Cravings. Certain ingredients might be popular on some days. Keep your eyes peeled and stock up on those ingredients. Okay. All right. Sounds splendid. So we're going to pop our items in the fridge. You know, the ones we didn't lose. See, we've got four tables now. It's looking great. Let's pop these in there. And we are ready to open. Oh, and you know what? Let's see here. I think we might have expanded on the fridge as well, maybe. Through one of those upgrades. Okay. Let's go ahead and open up. As we talked about last time, this is a less taxing cooking simulation. And, you know, sometimes you want that, right? A little less complicated than, say, an overcooked 
where you're running all over the place, you're doing the chopping, you're cleaning the plates, you're, you know, you're all over the place. This will give us a chance to settle in before the rush that'll happen right over here. And for some of these, you have to be just kind of close in order to get it going. You know, like, I could be over here and accept the payment, I think. Let's see. Yeah. Perfect. So I like that you can just be you know, somewhat in the vicinity. Our contribution to today's event will be a gigantic vat of cheesy potatoes. You heard me talk about these the other day. Yeah, they've got about 14 gallons of butter. O'Brien style cut potatoes. A ton of cheese. Shocker, right? And then 14 more gallons of butter at the top. Everything's better with butter. And then you finish it all off with crispy corn flakes. It's golden and delicious. Well, let's see what happens. We've officially hit the lunch rush. We've got some requests that we can't answer right now. Hopefully that's not going to happen too often, but definitely a need for more recipes and to complete those quests that have popped off. Wow, lots of whiners today. There we go. Let's get the noodles going. My wife actually made ramen for us last night. Huge fan. Nice beef broth in there. Yeah, some of these people are really steamed. Ooh, steamed chicken. A solid choice. And then we'll get to the noodles next. Otherwise, this dude's gonna grow a little bit impatient. Alright, let's get those noodles going. Cash. It's nice and chill, isn't it? Good one for at the end of the day. The end of a hard, longer day. Oh, I can collect cash while holding a dish, it turns out. That's cool. Just a regular multitasker that Palm is. We got you. We got you. One thing I am curious is that this still shows only one out of one for capacity. So maybe I'm misunderstanding that system. I'm not sure. But we could all believe that, right? If you've hung out here before. <laughs> could all believe that the goat is misunderstanding something. It's always a possibility. All right. Bring that to you. I think what we'll do is get through the lunch rush and then we'll do another run try and get through some additional materials. Like I said, they want me to bring back vegetables and the fatty meat, and I, 
think we lost out on some of those when we died. Mm. She caught me mid-coffee sip. Cheers to you. Now we were talking about the ramen that my wife made last night, and she actually put tofu in there. We've been trying to perfect our tofu game, and what I've found is that cooking it in an air fryer seems to be a really great way to go. You know, you've, you still have to squeeze out a lot of the moisture, but the air fryer gets it nice and crisp. You know, so you throw your seasonings on there, pop it in the air fryer, and pretty good. All right, I think we're gonna close the restaurant. We'll let her finish. Perfect. See, we didn't even have the dish that that uh, final customer wanted. Okay, not bad, not bad. Almost went up uh, another reputation level. It was a great success. I think they say that every time, whether it was a great success or not. And I'm okay with that either way. Now let's have another run. See if we can grab any of these juicy materials. I did pay the tax guy a little bit. I gave him 200 bucks. He just stands out there very menacingly every time you walk by. You get a little bit guilty if you're carrying any coin at all. Yeah. I didn't mention that for first timers looking at this game. Uh, the other thing that these awesome, fantastic parents left us with it was a big tax bill. Yeah, not great, right? And we do want wood and stone still because that's what we're going to use to build additional tables and chairs. And, you know, if we ever expand upon the size of the restaurant, I would imagine that's something that happens at some point uh, we're going to need those materials so I'm gonna be on the lookout for those as well rock and stone right if you know you know some of you definitely know all right let's before I go to the next floor I feel like we just got here See if we can grab some veggies. All right. These dudes can be quite the menace out here. Hey, there we go. Some nice leafy greens. Perfect. We are also on the lookout for fruit as part of one of the other quests. All right. Yeah, I think our weapons do need an upgrade of some kind. Some of these guys take quite a few hits still to take down. I've upgraded the spatula one time. And I think we either need a weapon switch or another upgrade. That knife did look interesting. Perfect. Hey, those look like vegetables. I guess rice is not a vegetable. Starch, right? Carbs? I don't know. Food science was never my thing. I just enjoy nice quality foods. <laughs> All right. 
You know, I'm wondering, should we go down a level at this point? What's the inventory looking like? Okay. It's pretty full already. I do like taking those guys out all at once. The big old slam jam. And this guy is going to give us that beef that we were talking about. And that is definitely a quest requirement right now as well. So let's do that for sure. There we go. Fatty meat. Love it. We can exit anytime we want by clicking on this guy. That'll get us out of here. There's a little timer that you've got to wait through, and then you're up and out. All right. Let's go through. And I wonder if I'm tired or something yeah that must be so we didn't come in with our full health bar that's an interesting mechanic can we get mushrooms apparently not I'll gladly take more stone apparently we're full up on stone at this point Inventory in general is looking pretty full, but we could use more meat for sure. Just looking to see if there's anything we have a lot of. Yeah, there's nothing I really want to dump at this point. Oh, I will gladly take this guy out so that we can get more beef. Or pork. Or pork. I guess that's probably pork. Nice little pork butt. Just talking to the brother-in-law again. And we're still talking about pork strami. Taking a pork butt and doing the long brine. Corning liquid. Could be great. And then smoking it. We still have 50 health. There's another opportunity for fatty meat. Jeez. Alright, we're we're getting things are getting crowded. Maybe we take these guys out and then we leave. There we go. Okay. Alright, I think we're out at this point. Let's get out. So we gotta wait. Are these chickens gonna mess this up? Oh, they are. Those jerks. Okay. Let's try it again. We'll take it. That was a good run. We brought back lots of meat between the chicken and pork. Let's see what Truffle has to say here. Only my late grandmother accepted me and my ambitions to be a soldier. I miss her the most. Now this is that quest that we have and looks like we've got the green check mark here. Perhaps. Oh. Well, maybe not. So we need 20 rice, we only have two. Okay, all right. I take that back. So let's head to bed here.
Okay. Now I would imagine that work is still being done here. Oh, we do have this recipe now, it appears. This was, I believe, one of the quest recipes. Does it look like things are... Yeah, so things are under construction, which is, is great to see. Getting a little bit of lag here on the game all of a sudden, so my apologies. I don't know what's driving that. Well, let's see here. Tenderizer launches a plate on attack. 20% chance. Much higher attack as well. Deal additional 20% damage to any target that is shocked. This does not stack. Egg timer bomb, that looks interesting. Deal additional 15% damage to any target that is aflame. Okay. Or we could just go with a support item. That's interesting. Enemies damaged by you have 15% chance to explode when they die. Look at our inventory real quick. Okay, so gloves and boots, we definitely have spots open for them. So maybe we do that. At least by one item here. You're geared. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. She's right, we're full. Okay. Well, looks like the lag has stopped, which is great. Let's pop this stuff away. And now let's go back and get the boots. And then we'll open the restaurant. So it looks like the town area right now is what's causing a little bit of lag. Alright, got the gloves. Perfect. And... Okay, they're already equipped. And maybe the plan can be to run the restaurant for a little bit here and see if we can make enough money to perhaps level up the restaurant. Or whatever our reputation level drives, but I think we were close to increasing the reputation level, which I believe opens up different options with some of the vendors in the village. Well, as long as she's willing to get up and get her own dish, I'll allow it. Hmm. Cheers to you. Coffee's going down easy today. We were up a little bit later. I got a little bit hooked on the HBO show where they follow uh, various NFL teams. Hard Knocks, if you're familiar with it. Yeah, they followed the Jets. in their preseason, and if you follow football, you know that those folks had, uh, well, a, a devastating beginning to things. And so it's just interesting to watch all of the calm 
before the storm. But I love that you can kind of be a fly on the wall via that show. All right, steamed leafy greens. Another dish that we can't yet make. But so far, so good. Not running into any seating issues yet, which is great. I was trying to decide if grabbing the dish for them drives additional tip behavior, but I can't tell. If, if anybody has noticed at all, let me know in the comments. Because I'm happy here to just be a little bit lazier with it and drink coffee myself while the restaurant just kind of runs. See, it would be nice to be able to cook an additional item at once, and I think that we will have that capability very soon. Uh, here's a seating issue. All right, move along, folks. We got we got people waiting. Come on. Ooh, fried beef. Now that sounds okay. That sounds right up my alley, actually. We were telling somebody the other day that uh, we have deep fried steak before. And this gentleman looked at the two of us, my brother-in-law and I, like we were just stepping off a ship that came from another planet. I suppose it is unique. We'll usually fry one up in the turkey fryer on New Year's Eve. Uh, we usually do a deep fried New Year's. Okay, we got through the lunch rush here. Or maybe this is the breakfast rush. I'm not sure. Maybe we should see how this rush goes. People coming out for high tea? I don't know. I mean, because look, the fridge is... It's stocked. It really is. Okay, still want the spicy soup. Steamed chicken, we can do that. We have a lot of the pale meat, at this, as this game refers to it as. We have gotten back to watching Kitchen Nightmares. So glad that Fox brought that show back. I think that uh, Gordon Ramsay is pretty entertaining to watch. Whether it's real or not, jury's out, I suppose. But we enjoy it. Pay like that. That's uh, that's nice. All right, so this one we delivered the food. So we'll have to be on the lookout for the tip amount. Usually the tips are two dollars. So let's see if there's any advantage. Okay, well, all right. Maybe there is. 
Well, that was a $2 tip, and we brought the food to that person as well. Alright. I'm baffled. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And while you're at it, if you're enjoying yourself, hit that like button for me. Helps get the video out to so many more people, which helps give attention to this game. Alright. Well, $5 tip. That person was halfway there. All right, we're gonna close. Well, you know what? Now that there's the dinner rush, maybe we won't. Let's see how it goes. Might as well make that money, right? Okay, no order yet, but very soon there will be. I thought maybe with the dinner rush, we'd see some new dish requests coming in. And they are, but they're not the kind we can make just yet. Looks like we're out of the boiled pork ingredients as well. So we may have to close if we run into that issue over and over again. We don't want to piss anybody off, right? Oh, she wants one of those, you know, coconut straw dishes. You know, the old coconut straw. Oh, that's that's quite popular, isn't it? I get it. it looks like a coconut. All right, we're going to close. We're going to close. I, I don't like making everybody angry. 1,400 bucks? Not, not a bad take. And it was a great success. And we went up in reputation. How about that? All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to town. And we're gonna check our mail. New furniture. I think it's because we went up in reputation. The restaurant sure is growing a reputation to celebrate. I made you some new furniture, perfect. But I don't think we can visit him right now because he's working on our upgrade. So there's that. All right, let's see our smithy friend, and I think we can't do anything to our spatula. So maybe what we'll do is buy the boots. Poison dash. As you dash, poison fumes shoot forward. This remains for three seconds and applies poison to enemies that pass through it. This does not stack. Icy dash. After you dash, leave a cloud of ice. All right, do I have to pick one or the other? I'm not sure. Or do they do both? I guess we're going to find out. Okay, so that one was an icy one. No, it looks like they do both because I saw the poison as well. So we'll just have to pass through them in order to get them poison. Hey, folks. That's where we're going to cut this one off. This is Cuisineer. It is a cozy action roguelite with a restaurant management simulation layer to it. And it's fun so far. I will say that I wish there were less frequent loading screens. And like I say, as you can see right now, we're experiencing a little bit of a hitch and I have a fully stacked gaming PC with a 4070 and a nice processor and plenty of RAM. So it's not on my side. Uh, it might be an optimization thing, you know, and that can be challenging to figure out as well. But uh, the game came out on November 9th. And if you want to check this one out yourself, I will include a link to it in the video description. If you're not ready now, maybe you wishlist it for some other time. Thank you so much for all of the support lately. It has been tremendous. The channel has been growing so much. And 
sometime next week we'll get together for the channel update video where we'll geek out about all the analytics in November. I will just tell you that it was crazy good. It was crazy, crazy good. So you take care out there. We'll see you again soon.